just doing a really quick whip video. Obviously it's a really strange time at the minute because we're in isolation and the children are off school. Obviously my husband's working from home so it's all a little bit strange and I haven't had much time to be doing very much but I have got two whips on the go. I'm going to say two. I have loads of others but these are the only two that I am actively working on. I hope first and foremost that everybody that's watching this is keeping well and obviously it's just a bit of a weird time isn't it but I still wanted to pop a video out just to touch base really. Um, so the first thing is a really simple one, really mindless one. I actually started this last Thursday while I was waiting to go down to theatre and thank you for all of those well wishes and things for that as well. Um, I'm obviously a week post-op now and I'm starting to feel like I can move around a bit more and and whatnot. So I worked a little bit more on this last night. So this is just a corner to corner granny. So this is going to be a rectangular one purely because I prefer a rectangle shape and it's working up really beautifully in this yarn. So this is the Hayfield Baby Blossom yarn and I'm actually using DK this time. Obviously I've used the Chunky Lots before but I'm actually using the DK for this one. So this is the one that I'm using. It's got those beautiful soft greys and then those pops of the spring colours. So I really like how it's working up so far. I think it's going to look beautiful once it is done and I'm just going to stick with a plain white border for this one. So I will share more pictures of that as I work it up. So yeah, like I say, just a mindless one that you don't really need to think about. You can just crack on with it. And the second one is something a little more challenging and if you remember just before Christmas I did the um, Shellscape Shawl from Lisa's Attic. Well this is another of her patterns and it's another rectangular scarf slash shawl and it's called the Sidewaves Shawl. So I'm going to do a close up of this in just a second so don't worry you will see all of the detail but it's a really lacy wavy pattern. I'm hoping you can see that a little bit. So I've only worked up a small amount currently so it's super long. As you can see it's really long and this is going to be even more beautiful once it's all blocked and you can see all the definition of those beautiful lacy stitches. So I'm using a Shapey's Whirl for this again and I think this was Jade Jim Jam or something like that but just check the description box I will of course put the information there along with the pattern information as well and I've actually spoken with Lisa the other day and she's said that it's fine for me to pop in one of her pictures so that you can get an idea of what it will look like once it's finished but yeah let's just hold I'm hoping there we go so you can see the beautiful detail in this it's going to be really nice once this is worked up. It's going to be quite a long, wide shawl, so it's going to be really beautiful. There we go. So yeah, so they are my two whips. I've got my easy, mindless one that I can just flick back to when I've got the telly on. And then I've got my Lisa's Attic pattern, which is, I mean, it's still um, a relatively easy pattern to do, but obviously you need to think about it a little bit more and things like that but it's going to be really beautiful once it's done but anyway sending positive vibes out across YouTube to all of you and I will see you again very soon bye